name's Karen Stangram and welcome to my channel Conquer Crochet. In today's video I want to show you how to do the magic circle or sometimes known as the magic ring which is really useful for when you're trying to make toys uh, in amigurumi or if you're trying to make beanie hats where you don't want to have a circle where you've joined up chains you just want something that's really tight so that the stuffing doesn't fall out or the wind doesn't get into your hat. Okay so if you're ready to do it let's do this. Okay, so there are three different ways I found to do the magic ring or the magic circle um, and I'm going to show you all three of them today. It's really a case of you finding out what actually works best for you. So the first method I found is wrapping around the fingers. So with your ruby finger and your thumb hold the tail of the yarn, then wrap the yarn around the back of your fingers cross them over and then you have a parallel two parallel lines here and crossed over here so take your hook go under the first parallel and pull back the second one and as you pull it back round you're twisting it so you've got a twist in the yarn then hook back under that one that's on the uh, left hand side, drag it through, oops, oops, go through in the loop and there you have your first magic circle. Now the idea with the magic circle is you can make it smaller or you can make it a bit bigger depending how many stitches you need to get into it. As you can see, I found that one quite tricky. That's not my preferred method. So let's try that one again. So hold it with your finger and your thumb. Wrap it round the back of your finger. Sorry, I just realised I was off screen there. Cross over the yarn. Have the two parallel lines on the back. Go under the first line and pull back the second line. Twist your hook. Grab the yarn. Pull it through the loop. And there you have, oops, there you have your magic ring to work. Okay, so the second one is wrapping around the finger. So again, you're going to hold it with your thumb, wrap it around your index finger once, wrap it around twice, crossing it over. And then as we did with the fingers, you go under one, pull that one through, twist as you come up. Oops, I think this is really fiddly to do. There we go. Pull that one through the loop. Oops, there we go. And there you have your magic ring. Now, the method I prefer to do is just looping it around your hand. So I make a loop. I would just rest that in my hand. I pull the yarn through. So I've got my crossover. I pull that piece of yarn through. Hold my yarn as I would and just chain one. Let me show you that one again. So I wrap it around to make a loop, hold the cross, insert my hook, pull the yarn through, hold my yarn as I would normally, and I chain one. And then I've still got a link, a uh, loop, sorry, that moves. Why do I need a magic ring or a magic circle? If you're making toys, or you're making beanie hats, you may find that you don't actually want a chain to start off your circle because when you stuff your toy then you'll find that you have stuffing coming out because there's a small gap. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to chain three. Oops. So there we go. So I've got one chain on there already. One, two, three. I'm going to do a treble. two, 
oops, three. Okay, so I've got my three chain, one treble, two treble, three treble, and then you pull the tail. Now, if you weren't doing a magic ring, you would probably end up with a circle of chains here. But if you pull, you can see that this actually closes up really quite small. So if you had a whole circle here, you'd see that that actually gets it smaller. Okay, so what I've done here inside my magic ring, I have my chain of three and then I have ten double crochets going into the chain. So I'm going to pull the tail because I want to make this ring smaller. And you can pull that quite tightly. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the exposure on this. Okay, and then I'm going to join up this circle. So I'm going to join into the top one, two, three of the three chain with a slip stitch. And there I would have the start of the body of a toy possibly the start of the top of a hat. As you can see, there is no hole there. And if you need to, you can always just keep pulling to make it super, super tight. So there's no hole there that the stuffing is going to come out of. So that's the magic ring. As I said, there are three ways of doing it. The first two wrapping around the fingers, I actually find quite tricky to do. I much prefer to do it in my hand. They all work the same. It's just up to you to decide which one you think works best for you. So that's how to do the magic ring or the magic circle. I just wanted to show you on my little toy here what I meant with the amigurumi. This is Spot the dog. Say hi, Spot. Oof. So if you have a little look at his feet here, you can see where I've actually used the magic ring. So there is no stuffing that's going to come out of his paws here because I've pulled it so tight that the stuffing can't come out of there. Again, with a beanie hat, if you've got a little hole in the top, you can have a hole. If I just show you on a, a granny square, if you, that's what you would get if you were doing um, a chain, you would have a hole in the middle. Obviously with the magic ring, you can pull that a little bit tighter. Okay, uh, have a look in uh, one of these two videos here for some other patterns that I've been uh, showing you over the last few weeks. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And also any comments below are much appreciated on videos you'd like me to make. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Happy hooking!